up everybody gonna do a review today of a new addition to the channel this is a Thor Lake Hammer series 1754 duck boat it's like a souped up John boat so to speak if any of you know me I work part-time at a fishing accessories and John boat dealership now, I just want to put that as full disclosure. That being said, I wasn't given this boat. This isn't the company's boat. This is my boat. This is the boat I'm paying for. So you're going to get an honest review and honest updates on it. I had no plans of getting a boat, another boat, until they brought these in and we started carrying these at our store. And when I seen it, I just kind of fell in love with it. Thought it was a really cool looking, well-built boat. So today I'm going to give you a good overview of it kind of do a walk around all right we'll start here at the front let me put you on the mount we'll start here at the front like i say the brand of the boat's a thor boat it comes in with it comes with built-in recessed lights a light bar there your side lights and the other lights on the side are your navigation lights. This here at the front is a pretty cool feature. You can see that bar, it's got a lock on it. Get where you can see, pull that lock off. This comes up and out. You can pull that out and it's a two inch receiver. And the reason for that, they have accessories that you can put on it. If you're duck hunting or doing something, you're going back in some backwoods or some, some ditches or some low um, water areas and they got logs or whatever, they actually make a winch system you can put in here and attach to pull the boat over logs. That's how sturdy this boat's built. Let's put that back in there. Right. Moving up to the deck area, it's got a large deck area for fishing. It's got a cup holder here. It's got LED lights in the cup holder and LED lights that run around the inside here. So it glows at night and the, uh, mine's green. It's a real uh, pretty cool color how it works. I opted to have a Minn Kota Tarova put on mine. Um, sometimes I go down to the intercoastal waterway we don't live too far from it so i get in salt water sometimes so i went with a Minn Kota to rover you can't beat that trolling motor at all great i also had a foot control put on it in addition to the hand remote because when you're bass fishing or something like that you uh want to be able to operate it with keep your hands free all right now you see this rail system it has along the side there's rail there and one there and you can mount different things as you see i've mounted this rail blazer uh, mount to help take the bounce out of the trolling motor head as it's traveling down the road but they make all kinds of mounts and it's got an entry point on the rail track right there i also had these noel enterprise let me get in the boat we see it better I also ordered and had these Noel Industry cleats put in mine. So when you're at a dock or you want to tie up or something like that, you can have those on there. You can see them, I got, I got four of them I put on here. And I also got these hand grab bars from Noel Industries also. They make uh, a ton of different accessories that you can put in the tracks of these type boats and they make them for different model boats as well really good sturdy stuff good folks to work with quick delivery now moving back up to the front of the boat you can see there's a switch plate up here it's got a usb port so you can charge your phone or any other accessories you want to got your courtesy lights 
That's your headlights for your spotlights up front I showed you, and your lights for your interior along the edge of the boat, interior uh, <clears throat> walls there. All right. Like I said before, there's plenty of deck space up here, so you can stand up here to fish. Now, one really neat thing about this boat is how stable it is. A lot of John boats, you got to watch your, your bottom width and everything and the stability of it, especially if you've got more than one person in it fishing. If you've got two or three people, one person moves, it can rattle everybody and kind of shake everybody in there. With this boat, not at all. I mean, it's very, very stable. Two people moving around in here fishing, absolutely no issue whatsoever. One of the cool things about this boat is the aluminum it's made out of is 125 uh, gauge aluminum, which is a little bit more than a lot of your John boats are, your normal typical John boats. Now moving back, your storage compartments on this one. And like I say, this is the 1754. They make different models. This is the smallest model uh, that I believe they make But you can see there's still plenty of room Now the storage goes way back in there. I've got my life jackets and everything stored back in there Way in bag more life jackets seat post other stuff, but plenty of storage right there And in all their storage compartments they put this C mat That's removable so you can take it out and wash it or, or clean it as, as need be All your compartment lids, use these rubber pieces here to tie them down. They seem durable. Time will tell with that. I'll do any updates need be on those. This is another compartment. This is a smaller compartment. I just keep fire extinguisher, whistles, and different things like that in the manual in a dry bag. All right. Moving on back while we're going over compartments. This is a compartment right here. I use this to put a lot of towel, the remote for the Tarova, the Minn Kota up there, all of that registration, all that good stuff. Bag, I'll pull this out and put it around there while I'm fishing. That's just another little storage compartment there. I use this one over here for my tackle storage, tackle boxes. Coming from a kayak, I don't put a ton of tackle on the boat when I go. I've kind of got everything worked out exactly what I need, depending on which lake or what body of water I'm fishing. I don't take uh, take a thousand things every time. So, gives you an idea of the compartment. All right, moving back. I put Millennium seats in mine. You can get whichever seats you want to put in it, of course. But I put Millennium seats in mine. It comes with all the seat pedestals you can see up here. And you can just take the seats out and move them around as you see fit. Of course, I got some pedestals so you can set them up higher. Now, I have a Garmin 93 SV. I've got mounted on a ram mount right here. And the wiring for it goes down around. It goes under that marine mat that we talked about. And there's actually already tubing channels cut in here that the wiring can be run to the back. Now, I want to show you inside of this compartment back here something that's really cool all right this wiring that's done on this very few boats especially any kind of aluminum boat will you see wiring done this meticulously and this well put together all of this comes in the boat all of this wiring see it's got your on off switch fuse panel everything wiring is incredible that comes with it i'm running a 12 volt 
150 amp hour Dakota lithium on my trolling motor. It's just a great battery. The battery comes with an 11 year warranty. Just really, really good battery. Comes with a six gallon tank. You can go out and run hours on that so you don't have to really worry about running running out of gas uh you'll you'll be uh way tired before you run out of gas with that so it comes with a six gallon tank and then that's my cranking battery right there one other cool thing about these boats that uh you don't see on too many items anywhere is this where it says who actually built the boat this is welded on it. So that's really cool that somebody's willing to put their name on the boat they built. And that uh, that's great quality control and shows you. So I, I appreciate that. Whoever built this boat here, Levi, if you ever watch this by chance, appreciate the quality and the effort you put in this. But you don't see too many companies that would do something like that. That's uh, that's incredible quality control uh, measures. Just think about wherever you work, if everything that you had to produce or do or whatever, your name went on it, and everybody down the line for years to come that's going to own that product is going to always know you're the one that built it. So um, back here, another cool thing, place to keep your your plug. It's just you can tell the guys that made and designed this boat um, actually use them. Uh, you can tell that they they are either f fishermen, hunters, whatever. Everything that was put in this boat was thought out, thought through. All right, something I done with uh, mine's a tiller. I opted for the tiller uh, model. They do make a center console model side console model, some hybrid stuff like that. This company does Thor and those are, are really awesome boats. As a matter of fact, we had one center console that come in one day within about 30 hours. Uh, it come in one afternoon and by the next afternoon it was sold. That's how quick it went. And they're really neat boats too. I opted for the tiller. On a smaller boat like this, I like a tiller um, because it just gives you more open floor face, space to fish and move around, especially if there's two of you on the boat or more. But um, one thing I done on my tiller is I put this little piece of sea deck right there. So if I've got my motor trimmed up and it's moving, it don't scuff this or scuff my motor. So I went with a Tahatsu motor. Our dealership sells um, a couple different brands of motor. I opted for a Tahatsu. Um, if that tells you anything, it's not the first Tahatsu I've owned. Fabulous uh, service out of these. They're priced right in comparison to other motors. There's nothing wrong with other ones. But uh, I opted for a Tahatsu. And right now I've got a Solus stainless steel prop on it. I may switch back and forth from aluminum to stainless steel depending on what kind of water I'm in with that. All right. So that just kind of goes a, a quick once over the boat. Um, now let's get to the trailer. Now the trailer is an easy track aluminum trailer that I opted for with mine. I got the aluminum. I think they make a galvanized as well. Once again, I go in salt sometimes, so I wanted the aluminum trailer and I wanted the lighter weight as well. Um, easy track trailer, you can see it's well built. One of the cool things about this trailer is, as far as aesthetics go, at nighttime this thing glows. It's got lights that kind of glow under it. This Thor right here lights up, Thor Boats lights up. It's just really, really well built trailer. Comes with the spare. A lot of companies, um, when you're buying a boat, guys always look at your trailer and check your trailer. A lot of boat companies and boat sales places, that's where they cut some cost, is your boat trailer. You'll see some dealerships that beat other dealerships' prices by a couple thousand dollars, and a lot of times it's done in the boat trailer. So always check your boat trailer and make sure it's a good fit and a good match for your boat. 
Always do that and always check your horsepower on your motor. Don't let nobody underpower you. If you go back and look at one of my Carolina skiff videos, I talk about that. Places underpower in boats. And um, when you're underpowered, you're just gonna get out there and be miserable. Not so much on a smaller boat like this, but when you get up in your larger boats, and depending on what you're wanting to do with it. All right, so now going back over this trailer, one of the cool things about the trailer, like I said, the way it's built, you can tell the welds, good welds built sturdy, and the welds on this boat too, I want to mention that as well. Phenomenal welding on this boat, it's all welded. A lot of boats you'll see, they'll tack them together and welds will be about that much. They'll do like a five, four, five inch welds and there'll be spaces. Always check that. This is all welded, all welded. There are some cheaper aluminum and duck boats that you can buy. Um, but like I say, look at your quality, look at your trailer. Now I know I'm jumping around, but let me get back to the trailer. It comes with a spare tire with also the nice rim on it. You can see the quality of the trailer. Now, one thing that's neat on this trailer and you see it, don't see it on a lot of trailers, You'll see the diamond plate on a lot of boat trailers, but when you go to stand on it, it'll bend it down, break off, it won't hold you. This right here, I'm 215 pounds, and I can stand on this and it don't move. It's just a well-built trailer. Coming on back, also with the trailer, it come with boat, boat buckles. And I'm gonna tell you, no matter what kind of boat you have, get you some of these right here. These make a tremendous difference at a ramp other than them strap things. I've had them strap things pop loose. Um, I've used them. You know, if that's what you gotta do, you gotta do. But if you can splurge and get you some boat buckles, get you some of these, it just makes it so much easier at a ramp, loading and unloading when you use your boat buckles. And this trailer come with the boat buckles. Come with the package. Now, another cool thing, and this is what I say when the people that design this boat are fishermen and they understand the needs and wants of what people, you know, want to do with their boats. This right here plate, you can see, is welded on as a transducer mount so you don't have to drill in your, your transom to mount your transducer. It's just little things like that that you look for when you're buying a boat so you know you're getting quality and you know the people that's building it actually knows what they're doing and they've actually used a boat before. All right. LED lighting, like I say, this thing glows at night. It's amazing. So, like I was saying before, I opted for a Tahatsu 50. We've um, sold a couple of these. We've had uh, one person put a, a Yamaha 60 on it. I think it's rated up for up to a 60. But guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I get out there and run this 50 and I'm still in my break-in period. So I have not revved it all the way out yet. But my gosh, I can't imagine you want to go any faster on this style of boat anyway than what this will push. Maybe I'm getting old, that's a possibility too, but I just don't wanna, don't wanna go no faster than that. I just like getting out to the spot fairly quick, dropping my, trolling motor and catching some fish. Now, I'm going over a couple things I'm not crazy about. Because if you watch my channel and you know me, I call it like it is. Tell it like it is. Now these things aren't major, it's nothing bad. But it's things I'm gonna watch out for. And it's like I say, my channel, I'm always gonna tell you the whole everything. Now, these wheel lug nuts right there when i went to tighten them to take the torque on them after i got the boat seen that and i thought it was plastic caps that snapped on like some cars have so um, i actually bought a little wrench i couldn't get them off of normal so i actually bought a little wrench to get them off still couldn't get them off so i ended up calling and talking to the trailer manufacturer uh, easy track is the name of the trailer and these lug nuts that's how they're made um there might not be a thing in the world wrong with them. I'm not crazy about that. It's not caps. We've actually put an impact on them 
and a traditional wrench and they're able to go off and on with no problem or issue so there may not be nothing with it me myself it looks just like to me that could be a point of failure to where that at some point could spin and not work right i don't know so i don't want to say it's a bad i'm just going to say it's a little different than what i'm used to and i'm not crazy about that so if any of you know anything about those leave a comment and let me know if you've had any problems with them i'm probably going to end up changing mine out to some regular uh, lug nuts but just let me know now another thing boats of this size and weight generally don't come with a safety chain so that's nothing that's definitely no knock on easy track or thor or anything like that so what i done i had this chain and i just made me a thing to make me a safety chain right there i would like to see a safety chain on this but hey it, I, like i say i can't knock them on that because this size and weight boat generally does not come with a safety chain on them so i just kind of put me one together i'm gonna do up something a little better than that i got a tournament tonight i'm fishing in and I don't really have time to do anything much better than that, but I've put that on there to hold me over. So, and guys, this is another quick walk around of the boat. If any of you have any questions or anything about it, just let me know. I'm looking for my tape measure so I can give you guys some measurements. I brought it out here for that and I can't find it. Here it is, back of the truck. So let me give you some quick measurements on this boat. So, across here, let's go here, you're looking at 54, and then it's a 1754, so that's what it is. Uh, on John boats or aluminum boats, a lot of boats, when you see your numbers, your first two numbers is the length, and the last two is the width of the, of the bottom floor. So just know that, and that's what it is, and it's 17 long. Now, your front casting deck, this is stuff I wanted to give you. This front casting deck portion, right here, you see it's 18 to that. And up to here, it's about 32, 31 and a half. And this deck back here, let's go, hold on, let me clip you back in. Sorry about that, but I'm trying to be as pro as I can with this <clears throat> for you guys, because I know there's a lot of things people want to know. All right, you're looking at about 42 inches there. And then your step, you're looking at about 11, 11 and a quarter, a little under 11 and a half, just shy of 11 and a half right there. Um, there's plenty of room. Let me get, get back up in here. There's plenty of room in here. Um, your width, your open area width here is, you can see right there, 77 and a half inches. And uh, just to put it in perspective, I'm 6'5". And so what I'll do is lay down here and show you the, the room you got here. See, look at this. If I get tired of fishing or something like that, I can just... Uh, lay down here and take a little nap. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. How about giving me a like, subscribe, got some more stuff coming. If you guys are interested in knowing about any kind of baits, uh, any other kind of boats, John boats especially, anything like that, just let me know. And uh, I'll look it up, find it, do a little review on it. Thanks for watching, later.